We hope to see world-class sailors racing their boats on Lake Mendota today. That didn't happen. It was a disappointing start to a weekend-long competition that has another couple days to bounce back. To Halil Mohaldin reports. 43 teams of competitive sailors finished their days without ever getting on the water. A little, little bummed out. I was, we got here at, what, what time we get here, like 7 a.m.? Yeah. <laughs> to, uh, you know, get the boat all put together and there's no wind. No wind means no competition for sailboats, but that won't stop regatta racers from coming back tomorrow, hoping the weather shifts. When it comes down to it, each crew, or each person kind of got its own, like, this is, this is where I'm in command, this is where I'm in control. Being out on the water, being with the friend, with friends, um, you know, getting a couple of good races in. And what makes a good race? Putting as many boats behind you as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Something that'll be challenging at this regatta. It's a competitive fleet. We have some Olympic racers in the fleet, and so it's always a little bit nerve-wracking to get out there and sail with them, but pretty good. It's nice to be on the home water. Sailors say the key to success, though, is good communication and teamwork. Trust is huge. Trust is absolutely huge. If you, can't, if you don't have trust in the boat, then you might as well not even race. One of two requirements to set sail, trust in picking up each other and the faith that the wind will pick up too. In Madison, Tahid Mohaddeen, News 3 Now. Organizers say they had plans to run eight races over the course of the weekend. At least three are necessary to call the race a regatta. And if you are interested, Tenney Park and the Union Terrace are really good spots to watch the races this weekend.